Okay, folks, what we got here is a Millport milling machine. It's got a 9 by 42 inch table. It's got a servo power feed on it. It is the Millport model with the two speed head, if you notice up on the switches on the motor, that there's two switches. And one's for high and low, one's for forward reverse. It's wired for 220, and being a two speed, that's the only thing it can be is 220, and it's three phase. If you wanted to uh, change it, you'd have to use a transformer if you wanted to run on 440. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, these were, were being run off of a, uh, I've got two of them that came from the same place. I believe it was the original owner of the machines. Unfortunately, he passed a couple years ago and there was no heat in the building. So there's some surface rust on the machine. Uh, she runs absolutely beautiful and I wish I could describe I wish you could feel the handles as they turn, just feel smooth as silk. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run it, and I'll move it out, and you'll be able to just see that there's not a lot of slop, and the body's in nice condition, uh, again with a little TLC, a little rubbing, uh, a little bit more of the surface rust can come off, but uh, good machines, and they were being run off of a phase converter, a rotary phase converter. I do have that also. It's rated for 10 horsepower. He's running pretty much his whole shop off of it. So I'm going to start her up, let you hear it run, then I'll actually cut that piece of steel in there. That's running uh, at low speed. That's running high speed. Here it's just running absolutely beautiful. And uh, if you want to run it, the uh, brake works good too. And now she's going to be running in low gear. So, as you can see, that works great. The quill is absolutely beautiful. If you look in here, take a look. It is just its original grind marks on it still from the original manufacturing going horizontal. So, um, not a whole lot of use on these machines. Again, it was in a guy's garage. I believe he was a single owner. He had uh, this mill port. He has another mill port just like it. And he had a lathe and a surface grinder. So, everything was mill port. He was obviously a fan. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and put her back into. Uh, Back in the high. We're running low as far as the high speed, low speed of the motor. Set it up so I'm throwing the chips away from me, not into me. That just never fails. Fun always rings during the middle of a video. I'll get you a little closer so you can see it actually cut.
see the power feeds working. So the machine will uh, not come with a cutter, it will come with the six inch mill vise, there'll be a handle with it. And here it just runs beautifully. Not that we really need it, but I'm going to go ahead and we'll do a finish cut, so I'm going to kick that uh, RPM up a little bit. I'll move the uh, part up five thousandths, and we'll do a finish cut on there. Kick the uh, feed rate up a hair. I just wanted you to be able to see how actually nice 
and finish is. And that's going to conclude this uh, video for the Millport Step Pulley Head Machine 2-speed motor.